Hello everyone, this is Juan Salazar here from the Foundry and I'm here to introduce you today to Assist for New CACs. Bringing added value to your New CACs license, our new Assist tool lets you farm out your essential everyday task of paint, roto and 2D tracking to a wider group of artists and scale up and down with workload at no additional cost. Available as two additional licenses for every New CACs license you hold, New CACs features gives you additional artist access to a select set of Nuke nodes completely free. Let's take you now through a workflow of assist for Nuke Hacks. So today I'm going to be working on this shot from the Budweiser commercial which is the last shot of the show and is clearly the money shot. So it needs quite a lot of work uh, to get it done and get it done nicely. So if we actually have a look at the animatic we can actually see what it needs to be done. We clearly have to do a nice matte paint for the background, which I'll do in New Kex, and I'll do a full projection matte paint in 3D space. We have to clearly roto all these people that is on the front. And then we need to also do a clean plate for the whole building, as I'm going to add some CG elements onto it. And if we actually go back to the shot, and I'll show you about building especially, you'll see the amount of work that because there is loads of cables in there that need to be removed. There is smoke coming up that we'll need to bring back. Uh, so there's quite a lot of work in there. And if you have a look, there is loads of people in there. So there is way too much work for myself to do it alone. So here's where assist for new CACs really kicks in. The idea is I can divide and conquer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this work into three people. The first one is going to, I'm going to send this for rotoscoping. So I need to roto all these people around. So what I'm going to do is I have here set up a backdrop where I have my footage and a note for my artist on what he's going to do. In Assist for New Cacs, you have roto, roto paint, trackers, plant trackers, merges, and some other nodes, so they will have every single node available that they actually need for doing this given task. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go and select my backdrop and I'm going to create a pre-comp node. Now it will ask me about where I'm going to save it and what's going to be the name of that file. So I'm just going to go to the same folder where I have everything. I'm going to create a new file called Roto. There you are v1 and the other bit is it will ask you if you want that backdrop or delete the notes or no change I'm gonna say delete uh, in this case I'm gonna delete my notes and just leave my pre comp if I press OK all my notes gets collapsed into one single node that is pointing out into that new file and it's ready to go so that is the first one now I'm also gonna set up another assist uh, script for doing the cleanup. So one of the really cool things about it is I can actually do a setup with notes from new cacs. So the artist actually can use that setup in assist. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a tool set where I have set up some 3D space so my artist can paint this using UV projections instead of having to paint on an angle being able to paint flat. So all I need to actually do is bring my footage here. I have also denoised this already um, for them. And if we have a look, you will see we have full 3D space there. With this camera, if we look through the camera. Uh, so you can actually paint on a 4K plate and have that as a really nice uh, clean plate. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up another one of those pre comp notes and again this time all I'm going to set up this for is instead of roto I'm going to call it clean plate and I'm going to say delete and OK so if I actually have a look at that now we should have our clean plate set up ready to go so that is me done on new Kex, and I'm going to keep with my work here and I'm going to pass it now to the assist license so, I'm now on my new Assist license. So, as you can see, all the interface is the same. 
The only part that has actually changed is your left hand menu where it's a little bit shorter. So you only have your reads, you have all your roto, roto paint, that is the important bit. You have some retiming nodes, you have shuffles, you have actually a keyer, which is quite cool, so you can actually put some, pull some luminance keys. Um, you have merges, different transforms, and tracking nodes. And also you have the stereo tools. So if you're doing any stereo workflow, you should be able to do it here as well. So that said, I'm going to go and open my script. So I'm going to open my Roto P1. There you are. Open that. And there you are. That was what was set up for me. So you can see I have my read, I have my write, and my output node. So if I have a look at that, that's what I'm looking at. Perfect. So clearly the idea is to roto this shot. I'm not going to bore you with uh, all this rotoing that we have to do in this shot. So I have a tool set set up for me already. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you something very quickly. So if I do some tracking, for example, I can use my tab menu and go use tracker. That is, there you are. I can create my tracker. Or if I use my right click menu as well, it's available for you. So I can go draw and roto. And now I have my roto note there. So that is all your interface. All the stuff is exactly the same. So I'm just going to erase that. And I have a tool set for me ready to go. So as you can see, what I can do here is I have some tracking data. So if I apply it to my footage, um, I just stabilize that. All my tracking is exactly the same. Um, and then you can apply all your transforms with it and links. Uh, if you want to, I have all my different roto nodes uh, for the shot. And so at this point, I'm going to move into my other shot. So I'm going to open my clean plate. And as you can see now, I have all my notes from new KX. And the important part of this is it will render perfectly fine for me at any given stage. But you can also see that all those notes are actually red. So they're surrounded by a red area that is telling me that that node is not available on new assist. If I double click any of them, I get them as a gray out version of it in all the different tabs. So, but that's no problem because it will still render for me. So if I actually go here into one of these bits of the sides of the flat areas, I can very nicely just simply go add a roto paint in there and I can start painting. So I'm actually going to go full screen here and do some cloning. So I'm back in New Kex and I have both of my pre-comps already set up here. I have already selected the latest version of the comp that each artist has done. So if I actually have a look in here, I'll have my roto done, which I'm copying into the actual footage. And on this side, I have my clean plate. So really nicely, all the buildings have been cleaned and I have a nice plate uh, to be working with. So. The nice thing is because it is live, I actually been able to keep working on the rest of my shots. So I did all my 3D matte paint at the top and comp my CG bits and so on. Have everything ready and do all your shots in the time that is needed. With a for new kegs, you can divide and conquer. Thank you for listening.